Today marks a difficult anniversary in the Middle East. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary Ellis Demler. It has been exactly one year since the shocking Hamas terrorist attack on Israel. Channel 2's Chelsea Swift spoke with members of a local group who are calling for an end to the violence. Chelsea. Mary Alice, dozens of people gathered in Delaware Park for a religious ritual and a call to action. They're calling on Congress to prevent more military aid from going to Israel. October 7th marks a grim anniversary. One year since the Hamas attack that killed more than 1,000 Israelis and triggered the war in Gaza. A local group called Jewish Voice for Peace organizing a religious ritual and a call to action. We're here to perform the Tashlik ritual, which is an important ritual in the Jewish faith. Where we cast off the transgressions of the past year, and this has been a deeply mournful and difficult year with everything that's been happening in Israel and Palestine. Members of a Jewish Voice for Peace are calling on Congress to stop arming Israel. Marion Werner says she supports proposed legislation that would prevent $20 billion in military aid from going to Israel. We're calling on our members of Congress, on Senators uh, Gillibrand and Schumer, on Tim Kennedy, to support a resolution uh, to stop sending more arms to Israel. Khalid Kazi, the president of the Muslim Public Affairs Council of Western New York, agrees. Our own country, the United States, has a significant influence and a power to change events in the Middle East. But unfortunately, we have become a part of this genocide. Kazi says he remains hopeful that one day leaders will be able to come together to negotiate and end the war. I think Israelis and Palestinians have every right to live in peace side by side. Jewish Voice for Peace of Buffalo has created a petition that they're sending to members of Congress. On your side, Chelsea Swift, Channel 2 News.